following the dismissal of his manslaughter conviction related to the 2021 Rust shooting, Alec Baldwin's siblings and daughter Ireland conveyed their thanks. The prosecution mishandled certain rounds that were considered evidence, according to the judge in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and the judge claimed that this impacted the fundamental fairness of the case. The prosecutor, in response, stated that the bullets in issue did not even match the evidence that was found at the scene of the incident and were excluded from the Rust case file because they originated from a source she did not trust. Nearly three years after he unintentionally shot and killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of his upcoming Western Rust, with a gun serving as a prop, Baldwin, 66, went on trial. His brother Stephen Baldwin said on Instagram, Dismissed with extreme prejudice, nothing can stop what has been set into motion, hallelujah expressing his family's joy at the case's dismissal. The 58-year-old, who is known for being a publicly devoted Christian, exclaimed, God is good, love you bro. And, that's a wrap. One of Alex's other brothers, Billy Baldwin, showed off his excitement on Instagram stories by sharing a series of headlines regarding the case dismissal. In the meantime, Daniel Baldwin, Alex's brother, uploaded a video on Facebook, stating that he and his spouse were planning a trip to Santa Fe as a show of support. But he wanted to take a moment to say thank you very much. The case was dismissed, the court saw through all the bullshit and for some legal reasons, so Alec has been entirely exonerated and the case is done, he claimed, so they no longer needed to. I would like to extend my gratitude to everyone who helped my brother and who has sent me so many kind words of congratulations on Alec's success today. I simply wanted to express my gratitude for your friendship and love. God bless you everyone and know how much I appreciate you all. In response to the dismissal, the defendant's daughter Ireland, 28, who he had with his first wife Kim Basinger, posted an old photo of herself as a young child curled up on her father's lap while he was lounging on the couch. A few hours after the lawsuit was dismissed, Stephen, who had been in the city to support his brother during the trial, joined Alec and Ilaria Baldwin for a joyful meal at Casa Chimayo in Santa Fe. Conversely, upon Baldwin's case being dropped, the grieving widower of Helena Hutchins requested justice. After the shocking verdict, Matthew Hutchins, who was married to the victim for 16 years, released a statement expressing his respect for the court's decision, but expressing the hope that the actor's legal troubles would not end. We are excited to show the jury all the evidence and make Mr. Baldwin answerable for his part in Helena's needless death, he stated. It happened after Baldwin sobbed and gave his wife a hug following the shocking dismissal of his involuntary manslaughter conviction. Following a day-long trial without the jury, the exceptional verdict was made about bullets that were supposed to be in evidence but were, according to Baldwin's attorneys, concealed from them and buried in another case file. Due to the controversy surrounding the incident, Baldwin's trial was overturned. He entered a not guilty plea to two counts of involuntary manslaughter, alleging that he was negligent in misfiring a live round on the Rust movie set in October 2021. Earlier this year, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, a 26-year-old armorer on the Rust set, was convicted guilty of involuntary manslaughter. She later served an 18-month jail sentence which Baldwin would have received if found guilty. Her aging father has now applauded the swift dismissal of Baldwin's manslaughter case and stated that the conviction of his daughter ought to be reversed as well. Legendary Hollywood armorer Thel Reed, 81, claimed Hannah was being used as a scapegoat in relation to producer Hutchins' sad shooting murder in October 2022. Well, I believe that's good, Baldwin's dismissal, stated Reed. Hannah's case ought to be dropped as well, in my opinion. In April, Gutierrez Reed, 27, was found guilty of one count of involuntary manslaughter and sentenced to 18 months in prison. She was scheduled to testify in Baldwin's case and is presently serving her term at the Santa Fe County Adult Detention Facility. Reed expressed his hope that Baldwin's case would be thrown out, allowing his daughter to challenge her own conviction. He said that Baldwin was singled out by the prosecution as a scapegoat. It should be grounds for an appeal, he continued. She didn't act improperly. She has truly been used as a scapegoat by them. Following the announcement of the decision to dismiss Baldwin's case, his brother Stephen posted a mysterious religious message on Instagram, describing how the whole court system can condemn you for the rest of your life. 
Judge Mary Marlowe Sommer ordered the bullets to be brought into court during the tense and disorderly hearing on Friday. There, in a bizarre turn of events, she put on gloves and examined the ammunition herself. Luke Nickus, Baldwin's attorney, informed the judge that former Santa Fe police officer Troy Teske had presented the rounds to the department in March of this year, claiming they were the identical type that had been used to shoot Hutchins. According to Mr. Nickus, the bullets were buried as evidenced by the prosecution by being assigned a case number distinct from the primary rust investigation. Consequently, Baldwin's attorneys were not given access to all of the rust ammo when they went to the police in April, which is against evidentiary guidelines. Just prior to the judge's decision, the court was informed that Alina Johnson, one of the two special prosecutors, had resigned from the case. Judge Mary Marlowe Sommer stated in her decision that although a dismissal with prejudice was a very extreme sanction. The requirements had been satisfied. Prosecutors were extremely responsible for the mistakes and had unilaterally withheld the ammunition specifications, she claimed, adding that the suppressed evidence had impacted the fundamental fairness of the case. The judge declared that there was no way for the court to right this wrong, and that the willful withholding of information was intentional and deliberate. Coming so close to bad faith as to show signs of scorching prejudice. In response, Prosecutor Kerry Morrissey said that they had spoken with Teske last year and were dubious of him because of his strong friendship with Gutierrez Reed's father, Thel Reed. Morrissey stated that they came to the conclusion that Teske was leading them on a wild goose chase in an attempt to shift the blame away from Gutierrez Reed. Thel Reed is a man attempting to shield his daughter, she claimed and he is giving information that doesn't even correspond with the evidence that was discovered at the scene. Teske offered to send them the ammunition in November of last year, but Morrissey requested him to send a photo instead because he was in Arizona at the time. Morrissey did not request that the bullets be picked up by a local police agency because they did not resemble the live rounds that were removed from the rust set, the court heard. During the hearing, however, Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office Corporal Alexandria Hancock was questioned by Judge Marlo Sommer about why the bullets were not included in the rust file, expressing her frustration. According to Corporal Hancock, the choice was taken following consultation with prosecutors. Morrissey herself testified at one time in strange situations even though no one had asked her to. She refused to have the ammunition from Teske examined any further claiming that it was not the same as what was found on the rust set. After the judge dismissed the case, Friday's hearing became heated as Alex Spiro, Baldwin's attorney, questioned special prosecutor Carrie Morrissey about her bias against Baldwin. Rejecting the notion, she stated that she enjoyed Mr. Baldwin's films and that she really enjoyed his politics and the acting he did on Saturday Night Live. Morrissey said she didn't remember calling Baldwin a see asterisk 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 sucker and that she didn't remember calling the actor a arrogant p asterisk 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 in front of a witness when Spiro questioned her about it. You said you would teach him a lesson? asked Spiro. I never said I would teach him a lesson, Morrissey retorted. I did everything in my power to get this case resolved in his favor.